You got it. You're the man. Can you hear it when I burp? Great call. Everybody can hear that. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Tracy. I'm Jody. And today we're talking about knitting every day and why you should knit every day. Um, Do you knit every day? I don't knit every day. You don't knit every day? No, I go in spurts. Like if I have a sweater on the needles, I will knit, knit, knit every day. Yeah. But there will be, you know, several days go by and I haven't picked it up. That's like shocking to me. Like I can't probably count on one hand in the last year the days that I have not knit at, really? at some point. Oh yeah, even just 10 minutes at some point in the day is enough. Wow. But I really do, I really do. I would rather lay like this in my bed <laughs> and not move than knit. You have mastered the whole knitting in bed thing. I and have. it's not as easy for, I don't yeah. know. Why. How many hours do you think you knit a week? Two or three hours in the evening, but then on the weekends it can go crazy. Depending on what I'm working on, depending on the time of year, is it holiday, am I gift knitting? The gift knitting, I can, it gets a little out of hand. I agree, there are different times of year where you're picking it up more. Lately I've yeah. just been slothy. Slothy knitter. Slothy knitter. It's a thing. So yeah, let's talk about knitting and why it's great to be knitting every day. Yeah. Do you go through knitting slumps? I must, right? You must go through with times when it's kind of like, meh, you know, take it or leave it. But I mean, I'm always knitting socks and we have such cold weather that I wear socks every day in the winter. So I'm really yeah. happy to keep going and cranking out crazy stripey socks and stuff like that. What about you? Sometimes I feel like I lose my knitting mojo. Yeah. There's really not enough hours in the day yeah. for me to knit that my wish list. Oh, I know. Right? I know. I feel like we need to quit everything and just knit forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have some tips. Yes. Maybe to help you guys get out of your knitting slump. Reasons we think you should knit every day. Yeah. Number one, knitting can cause your brain to release a dopamine, like sort of like the happy chemical, you know? High on yarn fumes. It's a thing. Yes. So number two, it pairs so well with all your favorite TV shows, Netflix, audiobooks, and of course, knitting podcasts. Okay, number three, it can make public transit, airplanes, doctor's appointment, all those times where you're sitting in the car or just somewhere where you can knit, way more enjoyable. Absolutely. Number four, stress reducer. Say no more. Absolutely. Okay, number five, knitting is you time at the end of a busy day. And that's what I sort of forget. You just need a few minutes for yourself at the end of a crazy day. Yeah. Number six, it actually helps build neural pathways, making your brain stronger, and I think keeping it younger. Am I getting smarter while I knit? So smart. Number seven, great reasons to avoid laundry or other chores. That's actually my number one reason. Yeah. Number eight, knitting before bed can help relieve insomnia. Yeah, that's really interesting, isn't it? I conk out in about six seconds, so I totally believe that one. Right. Number nine, can help people abstain from behaviors associated with OCD, self-harm, and smoking. Number 10, it exercises your creativity every day. As long as I'm not exercising. Uh, yeah, I thought you, you thought I was gonna say exercise. Yes. No, exercise your creativity every day. Okay, number 11, the more you knit, the more often you'll have to buy yarn, right? Use your stash. Fill up your stash. I'm really, really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the 11 reasons we think you should knit every day. And I feel so good about knitting every day now. So it's official, people. It's scientifically proven we need to be knitting every day. <laughs> but you know what? If you have lost your knitting mojo, my friend who loves to cook and entertain says life is too short for diets. And that's totally the way I feel about knitting. Life is too short for half-hearted projects. Go for it, cast it on, knit what you love. Just go, you know, Instagram, just look at those inspiration yeah. pictures of things that people are knitting with and that people are making. And if you still need more inspiration, there's a link in the description box below that will register you for a Craftsy membership where you can take classes that we've hand selected. We hope we helped you get your knitting mojo back. And if you like this video, please subscribe and thumbs up. Absolutely. Feel good about knitting every day, you guys. Yes. We'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Happy knitting.